How can we guard against terrorists? Vision Press Production News Media On February 6, 2024, Vision Press Production News Media, VPPNM, was at the official Bicaria Township meeting of the Honorable Board of Supervisors. At the meeting at 7.30 p.m., the Rev. Gerald W. Spade, Sr., a Bicaria Township property owner appeared to petition the Honorable Supervisors to by resolution enact three Board of Directors for TEMA. The legal name registered in Harrisburg under the State Corporation Bureau for the Water Company in Irvona, Pennsylvania is the Irvona Municipal Authority TEMA. Through the years it has only been known as IMA. The proper legal name is TEMA. 400 signatures on a petition want answers for a dismissed employee. VPPNM as a news gathering entity is seeking facts too. News medias are considered under the federal rules of evidence a self-authenticating entity and the information can be used in any court of law. VPPNM video footage has been used in the honorable court as evidence. How can we guard against terrorists? What is a terrorist? According to a reliable source of definitions, a person who uses unlawful violence and intimidation, especially against civilians, in the pursuit of political aims. Could Irvona Borough and the area have terrorists in a local venue? Most often, we think of terrorists as being in far countries. One person may say, we do not have terrorists here in our area. Using the template of the definition for terrorist, could a disgruntled former employee be a terrorist? Is entering into team a facility and taking files a terroristic action? Are maliciously threatening individuals, who intimidate team a personnel a terrorist? Is harassment by communications by individuals an action of a terrorist? Recently in a WTAJ TV interview the following was stated by a dismissed employee of TEMA, because I was here for 23 years and knew the job and knew the place, the former secretary said. I feel like I was a threat to them. Why was the word threat used in an interview with WTAJ TV? Most corporations in the United States of America have all employees sign a loyalty agreement wherein the employee agrees to keep all matters in the corporation confidential, private, and proprietary to the corporation. Further in the agreement there is a non-compete legal clause. Did the dismissed employee of TEMA sign a loyalty agreement while the dismissed employee worked with TEMA? On February 7, 2024 at 11 a.m., Mr. Daniel Mann, an employee of TEMA approached the VPPNM personnel who was on assignment. During the encounter at the TEMA site, Mr. Mann was asked a question, working for TEMA, have you signed a loyalty agreement with TEMA? Mr. Mann stated to VPPNM that I did not. Mr. Mann did not know what a loyalty agreement was and asked for an explanation of what it was. Did the dismissed employee sign a loyalty agreement that contained, non-compete, confidentiality, hold harmless, proprietary restraint clauses in the agreement? Could a dismissed employee be a threat? Could a dismissed employee who knew all the vendors of TEMA contact them? Could a dismissed employee ask a board member's wife to ferret through the TEMA files and extract corporation files from the facility? From these questions can one infer from them that terrorists do exist in Greater Irvona Borough. Speaking with the new Chief Executive Officer for TEMA, the Honorable Chairman Thomas Brink, when asked about his intent on the Board of Directors for TEMA, the chairman stated, he expressed I want to seek answers and think about what is appropriate, integrity is doing what is for the good of all the people, in the opinion of VPPNM. Vision Press Production News Media has acquired team a board of directors minutes from the years 2015 to 2023, 108 months of TEMA board of directors minutes full of answers to every question that a customer of TEMA could ask. In the officially approved minutes you will find the Honorable Daniel L. Smith, 
a board of director for TIMA and additionally is the Honorable President of Ravona Borough Council, in the Board of Directors Minutes for TIMA for May 19, 2016 and November 20, 2023, Director Smith was absent for two critical moments in time. On May 19, 2016, Board Member Smith was absent when the Chairperson Karen L. Warfield committed a violation according to Order No. 1709 of the Ethics Committee Board. More specifically the violation is a misdemeanor and shall, upon conviction, be sentenced to pay a fine of not more than $1,000 or to imprisonment for not more than one year, or both. Ms. Warfield violation cost $1,000 and no prison time. The information is public knowledge and is found in Commonwealth Records open to the public. On November 20, 2023 Board Member Smith was absent when the Chairman of TIMA made an executive order and the Board of Directors ratified the decision. A secretary was dismissed with prejudice according to the official minutes. The question for the Honorable Mr. Daniel Smith and as well to all TIMA Board of Directors, where is your loyalty? Are you loyal to the Corporation for Safe Drinking Water or are you more loyal to other entities you serve? Would the Board of Directors and all employees sign a loyalty agreement? If you pledge allegiance to the flag, can the Board of Directors pledge allegiance or loyalty to the Corporation for the intent to ensure safe water for the customers? VPPNM believes if the dismissed secretary would have signed a loyalty agreement, there would be no civil unrest. VPPNM personnel witnessed after the meeting of February 6, 2024, with the Honorable Bicaria Township Board of Supervisors, one could hear yelling and commotion out of doors by hostile and enraged individuals. The angry sound with high intensity could be easily heard by VPPNM in the enclosure of the Bicaria Township Inner Meeting Room. The next day, the new CEO for Tima said, I do not like conflict, as he was a witness to the hostile event. CEO Brink is a kind and thoughtful director and is seeking an amicable resolve, the impression understood by VPPNM. Vision Press Production News Media is seeking video interviews with TIMA directors in the future to address critical needs of TIMA and to notify the customers of the non-personnel needs for the facility. One issue is the all-call system. All customers of TIMA shall be responsible to ensure that their telephone number is on the list of the all-call system. Notifications of water problems is a responsibility of TIMA by law. If there is a water emergency need to know, customers are to be immediately notified of the problem and instruction shall be given. Make sure your name and telephone number are on the all-call system of TIMA. Respectfully. Vision Press Production News Media All videos for the area are found at http colon slash slash www.wkeys.com Click on the name of the playlist you desire. Thank you for viewing the Vision Press Production News Media video presentations. Heavenly Father, as you look down on our water supply, please protect our precious water supply from terrorists, within and without, so that we have safe clean water to drink. Bless the leadership and employees as they conduct day-to-day -day needs to ensure all customers have pure clean and safe water at their individual homes in the communities of Ravona and Bicaria Township, all 570 homes. Thank you, Father for looking down on us and protecting us from all harm. In your holy name we pray.